I have something very serious that I need to talk to you guys about and I have something that I need to get to the bottom of and I need to get to the bottom of it now. Oh my god. I literally saw it for myself with my own two eyes in person. Check it. Look. It's an Inquan. The Queen of the Dawn. He's from Jamaica. She's a Telegram. They come together. For love and good time. Subscribe to the soul. Cause it's Rissa and Quan. Rissa and Quan. The Queen of the Dawn. He's from Jamaica. She's a Telegram. They come together. For love and good time. Subscribe to the soul. Watch your King of the Dawn. What's good team wrestling Kwan? It's your girl Rissa G and I am back with another lit video for the channel. So you guys, I have something very serious that I need to talk to you guys about and I have something that I need to get to the bottom of and I need to get to the bottom of it now. Um, Kwan and I are about to film a sit down video and in reality I brought up the idea of the sit down video because I have something that I need to figure out and I need to kind of like investigate for myself so a little backstory here the recent video that we did where he was questioning me about our first time we did the video in reverse i had done it on him a few days ago and then he just did it on me well i was reading some of the comments and a lot of you guys were commenting things about kwan kind of being like a little secretive with his phone and it was a lot of comments about it and i'm like what are they talking about so like i looked back on the video and i guess a few times like Whenever Quan would put his phone down, he was like putting it face down and then like underneath the pillow that was nearby. And a lot of you guys were commenting like every single sit down video that Riss and Quan do, he's always hiding his phone and he's always putting it under the pillow. And I'm like, what are they talking about? Like I cannot be this stupid and this naive that I never realized that he was even doing that. So I'm like, wow. What the heck does that mean? Cause like you guys know, like I trust Quan 110%. I would never think he's being sneaky with his phone. So I'm like, okay, instead of just like starting an argument or picking a fight with him, I'm gonna do a sit down video again with him today and give him the benefit of the doubt. And we're gonna see if he does it again. So that's my idea for today's video. We're basically just gonna be filming um, you guys asking us questions that you guys are too afraid to ask your parents. But I'm like, I need to get to the bottom of this because a lot of you guys are like, Rissa, like, come on, like, there has to be a reason he's like hiding his phone underneath the pillow. And I could honestly say, like, I never even realized that he was doing that. So I'm just going to read a couple of the comments that you guys were saying, and I'll probably pop them up on the screen or something like that. So one of them was like, why is Quan always hiding his phone, not hate, with a red heart? And then another one's like, it's bothering me that Quan keeps putting his phone under the pillow with laughing faces. And then people replied under it and they were like, for real, it's like he has something to hide. So obviously if you see that, you're like gonna start thinking and your thoughts are gonna start like running and whatever. So I'm like, what the heck? Like, why is he putting his phone under the pillow for real? Like, that's a real question. So basically you guys are telling me like, you need to get to the bottom of this and you need to figure out why he's hiding his phone, Rissa. Like, why does he keep putting it under the pillow? Like, there's no need for that. I don't know why he would be doing that. I don't know. But like I said today, I'm going to see if he does it again. And honestly, I don't even want to start an argument with him. Like, if I peep that, we're going to have to have a conversation about that. That's like weird. That's funny to me. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, Quan would never do anything sneaky behind my back. I trust him so much. So... Really, I don't, I don't know. If I see that, like, with my own eyes in person, I might not even know how to handle that or how to react because it's like, why would you be hiding your phone? Like, what are you doing that for? You know what I'm saying? But just a few more comments. Someone was like, bro, I was thinking the same thing. And then someone else was like, why does Quan put his phone under the pillow? It's really bothering me. <sighs> my God. And then they're like, oh, no one, Quan, puts phone under the pillow. So it's obviously, like... It stood out to a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are commenting about it. There's another one. It's like, notice how Quan's phone's under the pillow in the beginning. So obviously me reading the comments, I'm like, okay, like I gotta get to the bottom of this and we're gonna get to the bottom of this today. So I wanna say thank you Team and Quan for pointing that out to me. We're about to go shoot this sit down video. And if he does this, it's gonna be a big issue. And that's all I gotta say. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so we are in our infamous 
sit down video area in our guest bedroom and i just told kwan i was going to set the camera up really quickly so we could do the sit down video i think he's just changing his shirt or something like that but it's about to be the moment of truth i'm about to get down to the bottom of this and we're going to see if he really hides his phone underneath the pillow again if he does Ooh, child. I don't know. I'm gonna just have to like collect myself and think about it. I could just be assuming right now. We all could be assuming. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna move this over a little bit actually and make sure this is low enough so that I can catch the pillow because that's what's most important right now. So, okay, I think that should be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait here and wait until he's ready to record the video and then we're gonna get to the bottom of this today. Oh, I'm kind of nervous, you guys. Like, my heart is racing. Okay. Ready, babe? Yeah. I don't need something to say. Well, I said come in here when you were done. Oh, I ain't here. I was just setting up the camera. You got your questions ready? Yeah, I was just screenshotting some. They sent good questions though. Right? How many you got? Like six. Right, Wanna do five each or six? You can do five. Five or six. I got some good questions, so. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, Three. What's good, Team, Team Rissa Kwan? It's your girl, Rissa G. And it's your boy, Kwan. It's together, unstoppable. And unbreakable. All right, guys. So we're back with another lit video. And today, we're going to be answering questions that you guys are too afraid to ask your parents. Now, Rissa was the one that came up with this video, and I thought it was a brilliant idea. Because I know a lot of you guys have some questions that y'all are curious about, but you're too afraid to ask your parents because they don't even want to have this discussion with you guys yet. So... That's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm very excited for this video. Are you excited, babe? Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. So, um, let's just hop right into it, right? Okay, yeah. All right, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure your post notifications are turned on, and what else, babe? Make sure you're following us both on Instagram, and don't forget to check out racingquantmerch.com. All right, let's get it. So you want me to go first, or you're gonna go first? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you could go first. You sure? Yeah. Dude. All right, so y'all sent me some crazy questions. What should I start with? All right, question number one. Why do parents find it difficult to admit that they are wrong? Now, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Right, so I think the reason for that is that parents want to play the perfect parent role. You know what I'm saying? Since they're like the main figure in your life that you look up to, they want to be the perfect parent. And when you're being perfect, you're not wrong. You can never be wrong because you're perfect. So um, it's kind of hard for them to admit that they're wrong So it, because it will show like a flaw in them, I guess. And show that they're not perfect. But they want to, if that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So they want to have that perfect image for their child, you know? So I think that's why. What you think, babe? I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I could comment on that one. Um, Why not? Why do you think your mom or your dad never really wanted to admit that they were wrong? I don't know. Let's just move on with a different question. Wait. Well, I don't really like that question. I don't know, babe. I just can't. I don't know. You want to ask the next question? Yeah. No, matter of fact, I don't even like the questions really that they sent me. Matter of fact, just. No, you just do it. Do a different one. Alright, let me see the next question he's on. Um Oh this this is another good one. How can I shave down there? Now that's like a awkward question to ask your parents. Um it depends on which gender you are. I mean and it depends on your age. Because you don't want to start shaving at a young age. It's no reason to shave, especially because you're not supposed to be sexually active. Um, so, um, damn, what would you say the age that you started shaving? I didn't start shaving until I was like 16, 17. 
Or you just started sharing? Um, um, alright, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't, I can't do this video right now. What's the problem? I'm just not feeling it. I can't do not this. Feeling right good. I'm not feeling it. I'm not, I just don't. Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't want to do it right now. I'm not Baby, feeling it. I like know, but now I'm not feeling it. Can you tell me why? I just don't. I'm not in the mood to record anymore. Okay, you want to try it tomorrow? No, we'll just try it. Yeah, we'll just try it or something. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. What's wrong? Can you tell me what's going on? I don't want to record right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally saw it for myself with my own two eyes in person, not just on video. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I really didn't think that he did that. You guys were like, I thought you guys were like being a little dramatic. Like, oh, he does it every single sit down video. He literally did it again just now. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to approach him about it. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a very confrontational person. And my heart is racing right now. I don't even know what to say. Like I don't know what to think. I don't. I don't. I, I can't think of a reason why he would be hiding his phone. And he literally just, like, I wanted to see it multiple times to see if like this is something he really does. Like obviously it's a habit for him at this point. And he really did it. Like, put it under, take it out. Put it under, take it out. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't know. What does this mean, you guys? Like. <sighs> Oh my god, I just, I, don't, I really don't even know what to say right now. Why would he, why would he be doing that? What should I do? What should I just ask him like, should I just look in his phone? To see if he's hiding something or should I just bring it up to him? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this video and I don't even want to freaking watch him do that again. Like, that literally just blew my whole mood. Like, all jokes aside, I really did not want to record anymore. Like, all right, so I think I'm gonna just edit the video and I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna see what you guys have to say and maybe I'll even address him on camera and see what he has to say about it because like, I need answers. There has to be an explanation to this. Like, there has to be a reason he's doing this. And now that I have it on camera, like literally, he, he can't deny it, like it's it's recorded. There's nothing he could say like, oh, I didn't do that, I'm not doing that. No, you're doing it. And obviously, Tamar Saquon has seen you do it on multiple occasions. So this this isn't just a one-time thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I'm not in the right state of mind right now. So yeah, I think it's best for me to just do that. So I'm just gonna close this video out right here. And um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I don't I don't know what to think, do or say right now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in our next video. I love you guys. It's 4 a.m. in your way. I got you all on my mind. You're bad as hell, I can't lie. I need you, girl, in my life. Cause I can't wait till I.